You are not the Father. You are not the Father. Sir, you are not the Father. Maury Povich may be bidding farewell to paternity tests, but there's one he'll never forget. There is one particular show that I that's etched in my memory forever. The daytime host just announced he's retiring, ending his talk show in September after 31 years on the air. We've had such a good run, I thought now was the time to end it. And while the 83-year-old has decades of episodes under his belt, he admitted during an interview with Good Morning America Wednesday that there's one episode in particular that stands out. One month ago, Vina gave birth to fraternal twins, Peyton and Tegan. It's around the time Vina got pregnant, she admits she slept with one of her ex-boyfriends. And Chad is desperate to find out if he's the biological father the episode involved a woman who wasn't sure who fathered her twins, which wasn't exactly an uncommon occurrence on Maury. But when he opened the envelope to learn the truth, the results even shocked Maury. When it comes to one-month-old Tegan, Chad, you are the father. Yeah. 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 And when it comes to one-month-old Peyton, Chad, you are not the I say, you're the father of one, but not the other. And I look at my staff and go, what? And they said, it's a million to one shot, according to the wow. scientists, it, with fraternal twins, if someone is pretty active over 24, 48 hour period, you can have two fathers. Well, over the years, those paternity tests proved to be ratings gold. And when E.T. sat down with the TV personality back in 2019, he dished on how it all came to be. They came to me one time and they said, we have this idea, uh, we want to do paternity tests. Daytime soap operas would be doing these kinds of themes and they would take six months to get an answer and play it out all year long. And they said, you know, we can have all this conflict, all this drama, and we can have a result within 10 or 12 minutes. And the audience, that's all they're looking for as a result. And I said, that's, I mean, okay, it's fine with me. The first time we did it, I was briefed on the story and uh, the producer for that particular show said, and uh, the result, I said, I don't wanna know the result. Don't wanna know the result. I don't wanna know anything more than my guests. I don't wanna think anything more than my audience, my live audience, my audience at home. If I know the answer, I will skew my questions. I don't wanna know anything more than the people I'm talking to. And that was the key, because I'm as surprised as they are. On Monday, Maury addressed his retirement in a statement to ET, writing that he's proud of the run before joking, quote, as I occasionally tell my guests on Maury, enough already. More than anything else, I think, Laura, I'm going to miss, uh, I'm going to miss the storytelling. I'm, uh, whether I've, whatever I've done all these years, I've always said that I'm nothing more than a storyteller, so I'll miss that. But personally, I'm going to miss the crew and the staff. As for the legacy he hopes the show leaves behind, here's what he told GMA. More than anything else, he was compassionate to the people who told their stories all these years and that he could always, uh, they, they, could, they could unwind their burden with him. And I think more than anything else, uh, according to my guests, I think I've lived up to it and that's all I care about.